I'm so excited to show you this unboxing today. I can't wait to see the canvas. In fact, I'm not just so excited, I'm much excited. Yes, we've got an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. It is a square diamond painting and the Diamond Art Club boxes are very sturdy with the instructions on, a cellophane wrapped and really good for storing or gifting. Today I am going to be unboxing ta -da, Zodiac by Mucha. This diamond painting is 70 by 93 centimetres and I just have to open it now. I can't wait any longer. Oh, I've been dying to open this. This isn't my Black Friday deal. I did get caught up in the Black Friday frenzy and this is one that I've had for a little while. So I'm still waiting for my Black Friday to arrive. Okay, inside the box, we have the toolkit tucked in the top. Oh, quite far down. So we'll get the toolkit out. This is the new style toolkit, which includes a cover minder and the washi tape. If you want to see which kit it is that you're purchasing, when you go to the website, scroll through the pictures on the design and it has the toolkit laid out at the side. Although the cover minder and the washi tape are the surprise element in these amazing toolkits. Right, I always look for this one, by the way, because I prefer the new style canvas. So you know if you're getting a new toolkit that it is the canvas that sit nice and tight when they're squares. Okay. Here's the sticker. Oh, she's a big one. Let's have a look at the sticker here. Zodiac, as we know, this image is just beautiful. It is a very, very popular design by Mucha. And I will go into more details about all of that, the history as well, during the unboxing. This sticker can be used on the box if you're storing your diamond painting so that you can see easily which one is in the box. Or it can be used in your logbook if you are logging all of your diamond paintings. Okay, let's see what surprise elements we've got in the toolkit today. By the way, the toolkit always comes with the same tools. It's just the surprise element of the cover minder and the washi tape. So we unseal the kit. And we'll take it all out. So the exact same elements in the toolkits are always the tray, the translucent tray, although I believe that some people have been receiving white trays at the moment, so that's exciting. I've got the translucent one here with the gold fleck. Now this one does look a little bit damaged here. I don't know if you can see that, it's got a split in it. I do have a few of these trays, so that wouldn't bother me, but if this was your first Diamond Dark Club kit, you may want to contact customer services and let them know and I'm sure they would replace that for you. As I say, it doesn't bother me because I have a few of these now. You also get a caddy of pink wax, two heart-shaped pink wax in there. You get your stopper for your tray. So that sits in the end and it means that the diamonds won't fall out while you're diamond painting. If you want to use the stopper, you don't have to. We also get some needle nose tweezers, which are branded and have got the plastic protective end because they are very sharp. Now I believe sometimes the tweezers do come in a beautiful pink and orange color and I've never had some of those. So I would say usually they're the black ones. We also get a bag of baggies, around about 25 or 30 in there. And we get the multi-placers. We get a four-placer and a seven-placer. Now, these are the elements that can change a little bit in each kit. 
you do get a basic diamond painting pen. This one is a beautiful aqua colour. Now these can come in all different sorts of colours. I've had translucent, black, orange. So it's nice that we get different colours. And I've got a matching squidgy, so a nice aqua colour squidgy. And the squidgy sits on the end of your diamond pen. You push it on, takes a bit of pushing. Push it right on the end, there we are. And then when you're diamond painting, it's a bit of protection for your fingers. Now, the exciting elements in here are the washi tape and the cover mind. So, washi tape first. This washi tape is a beautiful, delicate colour. See if I can find the end. I'm getting quite a collection of these washi tapes now because I don't actually use them on my diamond paintings. There we are. Oh, it's really pretty. A very delicate floral washi tape for me this time. And if you don't use them on your diamond paintings, you can use them on card making, scrapbooking, just on presents and for pretty things. And today we've got a gorgeous butterfly cover minder and in the wings the crystal wings you can see we've got some flower detail and the body is all gems and look two little antennae at the top really really sweet I love that now turning it over on the back they've got like flower or star details on the back are they stars looks like flowers on the front and stars on the back and you'll see on the back there are no magnets because unfortunately the magnets have fallen off in transit but it's no big deal slide them apart stick the magnet on with some super glue and it will be absolutely fine so I like that butterfly really nice ready to see the canvas Let's get this one out. Oh, 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 look. Oh, aren't they amazing colorways? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh wow, even more beautiful than I could have hoped. We will have a look at the diamonds in a bit. Oh, this is stunning. I'm just going to roll it the other way to see if I can lay it flatter. While I tell you a little bit about the artist. The artist is a Czech artist born in 1860 and he lived in Paris during the Art Nouveau period, although he didn't like that terminology because he reportedly said that all art is new, so Art Nouveau wasn't really something that he liked the phrase for. And in Paris, he was working on theatre poster type designs, which I think you can see actually within this design. And his career really took off when the actress Sarah Bernhard took an interest in him for a poster for her production. And he actually made a two metre high poster for her. You may well have seen the image on Google. So he had a very commercial style in his paintings. This one became popular when the chief editor of La Plume bought the rights to distribute this one as the magazine's calendar for 1897. Wow, she is stunning. And I can see why this became much as most popular design. So this diamond painting has got 41 colours four of which are ABs. And if we scroll down, you'll be able to see there are lots of muted reds, blues, greens. 
really gorgeous. I can't wait to see the diamonds for this one. Let's get some close-up views of different elements in the painting. So in the top right corner, we've got the leaf detail in the background of this framing. So you can see here, all the way around the picture, we've got the frame here, which is 948. So we will have a look at that colour to see what that will be. And then the frame around the lady herself and all of the zodiac signs. So all of the picture feels framed within frames. It is very symmetrical, so the same design is on the other side too. Within the framed circle that goes all the way around the lady, we've got the different star signs and their symbols as well. So a circle for Gemini and their symbol within a circle. Again, Cancer with their symbol, Leo and so on, all the way around that inner circle. So looking at this central panel here, I have just noticed that we have got a little bit of a sign here, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a little bit of a sign here. So I'm not sure which two zodiac symbols um, are not complete on the picture. I might have to try and work that out. <laughs> so I'll change that and say the majority of the symbols are on the picture, but unfortunately these two, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> now we go into the central panel. Look at this. It's like framed with this gorgeous like fleur de lis frame around in bright vivid blue with the little touches of green in between. And then, oh, this is beautifully done. She's got this crown, jeweled crown on her head with the snowflake designs. Um, and then hanging from that we've got all of this they're like jewels like jewelry hanging from that so we've got a jewel here then we've got the crystal shards hanging down absolutely stunning and of course Mutcher did design jewelry as well towards his time in Paris so he did have an interest in creating beautiful pieces beautiful wearable pieces Around her neck, she's got a lovely jeweled necklace, again with crystal shards, crystal droplets hanging down like a chandelier. Then we've got some star details in this semicircle here. We've got the hair swirling around in classic Art Nouveau styling. If you see any jewellery, they tend to have it framed with that beautiful swirl. Heading down towards the bottom, in the background here, look, we've got that detail. It's a bit like that wallpaper type detail, a fabric detail with the red and then the stitching in gold over the top. On this side, we have the sunshine. And on this side, we have the moon. And again, in the background of the moon, that strikes me as quite William Morris-like in the wallpaper type designs. And I wonder if it was a bit of a nod to William Morris. In the centre, we have a panel here which shows two angels arm in arm. And the detail that Diamond Art Club have got in that is really, really clever. We have a lot of the outlining in three tens around her hair, around the shape of her head. But these details here are more subtle without any outlining. So that will make it all stand out. Look how beautifully this has been done here with the 310 outline to bring it out from the background. But then the delicacy of her lips, her nose, that eye looks like that's going to be absolutely beautiful with all of that shading there. We've got shading here down to her neck detail. So in the zodiac circle around the lady, we've got Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Unfortunately, Pisces is not a full circle and neither is Aries. Just so that you're aware, if you're either of those signs, 
you haven't got a full circle in the zodiac on this much a picture. Well now I'm really intrigued about where the ABs are going to sit on this painting. I really expect them to be in the crystals that she's wearing, but let's find out. Let's have a look at the diamonds. When you buy a diamond art club kit, they always come with this thank you leaflet with some tips and tricks. What's included, a scan code to join the Facebook group, and you can also scan here for step-by-step -step video instructions. So that's really nice to have too. You also get a pre-printed sticker sheet with a beautiful sticker on. I mean, that's just absolutely stunning. And they are pre-cut stickers ready for you to kit up and pop these onto your storage boxes. All colour coded with their symbols and their DMC number. Now let's have a look. Straight away they look very orange and red in this kit. Turn it over and woo there's some greens and reds. Let's open it and see the colours closer up. There they all are. I'm not going to run through every colour but as you can see as expected, there are lots of oranges, browns, very subtle tones, very subtle greens in this one too. I have a feeling that is the border colour, 948. So yes, it's kind of like a very pale peach colour will border the whole picture. Won't that be pretty? Look at those. Oh my goodness, that colour is stunning. 105. Oh, oh, wow. I've not had ABs in that colour before. They are amazing. We'll find out where they sit on the picture. We have... 141 ABs here, a smaller packet of those. So looking down the list, we should have a pale blue AB. Yes, here it is, 101. Then we have that astonishing colour. Then we have a then we have a tiny spattering of green ABs and then we have the white. So let's find out where they go on the picture. Okay, just have a look at this framework. All of this blue, which I knew was going to be beautiful picked out in blue, is actually all going to be this blue AB. <gasps> That is stunning. That is going to be so fantastic. Then looking at the number three, which is the beautiful green, that's picked out here in that. It's like a brooch, isn't it? And so those greens are going to sit within there. Then we've got the number four, which is this white. And if you look here, you can see they're lined in the crystal shards dropping down in the snowflake detail here and also in this detail way up here, which looks a bit like an egg shape. They are going to be all of this white. So all of the ABs are concentrated into the middle apart from the number two, which frame it all. So this stunning colour AB is going to go around the frame and around the circle, picked out along there. And the rest of it will be these lovely, subtle, muted colours. Oh, she's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, when I say muted colours, we do have some brights as well. It will be interesting how 
much more subtle they look on the picture amongst the other subtle colours. But these ones here are included in her lip detail as well as around the inner edge of the circle. So we do have some colour pops as well. Look at those. This one is going to be so much fun to diamond paint because from start to finish, you've got lots of lovely details to really get into and enjoy diamond painting. I think it's a stunning, absolutely stunning kit. I really hope you've enjoyed exploring this diamond painting with me. If you have, please do consider liking, sharing and subscribing. It is always a pleasure to have you with me and amongst our community here at Stone Magpie. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please do feel free to leave comments. I always love to hear from you, what you're working on and sharing ideas, tips and tricks, etc. I hope to see you again next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. Bye.